So, I heard you ran into Sahar. Is she alright? Can't believe she's gotten herself mixed up in all that Mandalorian business. There was so much chaos and confusion on Runic, and very little understanding. I couldn't do anything to convince Sahar to return. I know this must be hard for you. I just wish I could tell her that Elam wasn't the end, that she'll always be welcomed back with open arms. You know, I barely even remember her mentioning a brother on Osis. Now he's got her turning her back on us. Over here, I do believe I found something. Uh, but first, you must tell me more about this containment device you encountered. Uh, what did it look like? How did it work? I didn't get a chance to look closely at it or anything. I just know it was some kind of trap and that relic was in it. Can you tell us about what you found? The longer I'm near the relic, the more... unsettled I feel. Whatever this was, it inflicted unthinkable suffering upon others. Your perception is spot on, as usual. From the results, I can say with certainty that what you found is the remnant of a lightsaber. But there is more to the story. That is quite the find. You did well. I aim to please. My equipment also found microscopic fragments of the lightsaber's power source. By all indications, the crystal used to construct the weapon originated in the Adika system. That's where Osis is. Jedi get crystals from the Adiga system to build their lightsabers. We have for hundreds of years. So why did Darth Null have a lightsaber that was built like a Jedi's? A very pertinent question. Well, she was helping the Emperor control people through the Force, right? I'll bet she used those crystals in some horrible machine that hunted down Jedi and turned them into children of the Emperor. Well, knowing how the children were created, that sounds very likely. And who knows what else she designed that has yet to be uncovered. In theory, the possibilities are limitless from all she seemed to know. Someone who does not shy away from knowledge, no matter its source, in order to create, to expand their awareness. It is admirable. Null was controlling people's minds. Let's not pin any medals on her just yet. What do you think about talking to Malgus again? You've got something up your sleeve you didn't have last time. We're getting closer to understanding how Darth Null worked, but we still don't know what Malgus is trying to imitate. Not for sure, anyway. Maybe if I tell him about what we know, he'll open up. Whether he means to or not. I do not envy you having to attempt any sort of communication with that ill-tempered brute. Thank you both for your help on this. It has been my pleasure. No problem. I'm going to let the old man know what we found. He and Arn will be dying to hear everything. So, I heard you ran into Sahar. Is she alright? Can't believe she's gotten herself mixed up in all that Mandalorian business. I could sense a heavy burden of guilt in her. Pain and unimaginable loss. I think she believes the only way to find relief is to stay by her brother's side. Right. Her brother. You know, I barely even remember her mentioning a brother on Osis. Now he's got her turning her back on us. Over here, I do believe I've found something. Uh, but first, you must tell me more about this containment device you encountered. Uh, what did it look like? How did it work? I didn't get a chance to look closely at it or anything. I just know it was some kind of trap and that relic was in it. You can have your fun later, Ogrob. Time to get serious. Duly noted. Can you tell us anything about what Tao found? Indeed I can. From the results, I can say with certainty that what you found is the remnant of a lightsaber. But there is more to the story. What else did you find? A very interesting clue. My equipment also found microscopic fragments of the lightsaber's power source. By all indications, the crystal used to construct the weapon originated in the Adika system. 
That's where Osis is. Jedi get crystals from the Udiga system to build their lightsabers. We have for hundreds of years. So why did Darth Null have a lightsaber that was built like a Jedi's? A very pertinent question. Well, she was helping the Emperor control people through the Force, right? I'll bet she used those crystals in some horrible machine that hunted down Jedi and turned them into children of the Emperor. What else could she have built with them? In theory, the possibilities are limitless from all she seemed to know. Someone who does not shy away from knowledge, no matter its source, in order to create, to expand their awareness, it is admirable. Null was controlling people's minds. Let's not pin any medals on her just yet. What do you think about talking to Malgus again? You've got something up your sleeve you didn't have last time. I can't shake the feeling that Malgus doesn't know Darth Null as well as he thinks he does. There's only one way to find out. I do not envy you having to attempt any sort of communication with that ill-tempered brute. If we're finished here, I have places to be. So, I heard you ran into Sahar. Is she alright? Can't believe she's gotten herself mixed up in all that Mandalorian business. She's not as innocent as you pretend. She let Darth Null's holocron fall into Hedda Cole's hands, even though she had the opportunity to give it to me. That's not like Sahar at all. There's gotta be a reason. Maybe something to do with her brother? You know, I barely even remember her mentioning a brother on Osis. Now he's got her turning her back on us. Over here, I do believe I've found something. Uh, but first, you must tell me more about this containment device you encountered. Uh, what did it look like? How did it work? I didn't get a chance to look closely at it or anything. I just know it was some kind of trap and that relic was in it. Stop pestering her. We've wasted enough time as it is. Sorry. Can you tell us anything about what Tao found? Indeed I can. From the results, I can say with certainty that what you found is the remnant of a lightsaber. But there is more to the story. I've sent some of my best people to search for something substantial about Darth Null's history, and have heard nothing. Then this is just dropped into my lap. The answers we need do not always come when we want them. My equipment also found microscopic fragments of the lightsaber's power source. By all indications, the crystal used to construct the weapon originated in the Adika system. That's where Osis is. Jedi get crystals from the Adika system to build their lightsabers. We have for hundreds of years. So why did Darth Null have a lightsaber that was built like a Jedi's? A very pertinent question. Well, she was helping the Emperor control people through the Force, right? I'll bet she used those crystals in some horrible machine that hunted down Jedi and turned them into children of the Emperor. All we have are pieces of a broken lightsaber. I don't think we should jump to all these conclusions. We may not have reached a conclusion, but I do believe we are finally heading toward one. What do you think about talking to Malgus again? You've got something up your sleeve you didn't have last time. We're getting nowhere with him. I'd rather focus on our own investigations into Darth Null, without getting sidetracked by Malgus. It's frustrating, I get it. But we might know something Malgus doesn't. When else will we get a chance to catch him off guard? All right. While we wait for more intel to come in, I'll see Malgus. I do not envy you having to attempt any sort of communication with that ill-tempered brute. If we're finished here, I have places to be.